Color Me Positive PLR and here's a real quick tutorial on how to add patterns to your cover, seamless patterns, uh, on photop.com. It's not quite as simple or easy as uh, Photoshop, but it's doable. So I've pulled up a cover template from KDB for an 8.5 by 11 book and I've pulled up three patterns that it's Want to, I want to use to create book covers. So first thing you do, let's put the patterns into the pattern fill palette. So we come over to select all, go over to edit, define new pattern, and that will tell you your pattern has been added. So let's do that again. Select all, edit, define new pattern. Pattern added and one last time. Select all, edit, define new pattern. There we go. So now you have three patterns that you can choose to use for your book covers. And we'll come back over to our cover template and then we'll go up to layer, new fill layer, pattern fill and they have this in as a default so let's open this up and there you have the three patterns that you added so choose whichever one you like I like this one so let's do that and there see it's been placed within your book cover and it's seamless now the only thing you can't do uh, with this that you can do with Photoshop is you can't click on here and move the pattern around what you have to do you can scale it so you can come up here and say you want it a bit smaller that's that's cool 70 if you want to move it up or down or sideways uh, you're gonna have to use the X and Y controls which is fine and you can just check out to see how it moves and where you'd like to place it and just play with that until you're happy with it okay and you can also add a spine here if you like come over to the pattern fill layer and just lower the opacity so you can see the cover temp template beneath it go over to your rectangle tool and then draw out a rectangle around the spine area where you'd like it to go there. and there you have a spine so what you want to do is come back and make sure your opacity is at a hundred and you'll be good to go now you could change out the pattern again if you like just by clicking here and say I want that there or this one so again it's very simple uh, if you have a lot of seamless patterns just add them to the pattern fill bo uh, pattern fill box and then you can just come up here and play with them so if you have 10 or 20 book covers to create you can come in here and add 10 or 20 different pattern patterns and then just switch them out once you have it all set up for your text and your spine if you want a spine uh, and you're good to go from there so thanks for watching if you have any questions just hit me up in Facebook or send me an email mm -hmm.